Community day is here guys. Yes, Dano is finally getting a community day. Yay. But we have a big problem, eh? What? Check this out. I'm still stuck. <gasps> I'm still oh, stuck dear. at the loading screen. The network died for me. Oh yeah. Yep, I can't log in way. at all for the last five minutes really, but it's totally fine. <laughs> mm. Okay, but hi, hi to all of you guys. Hi guys. Alright, so <laughs> anyway, we are actually at the park here in uh, Santorina Park in Bangkok, Thailand and we are actually in front of Niantic's booth over there you guys can see over there yeah with all the trainers all around here say hi guys hi, hi. hi. wow hi. so many people today but you guys want to know what I can't even log in my game <laughs> see my game is stuck I cannot catch anything guys yeah but anyway seriously I'll just wait for it to load seriously I do not know what's going on but I'll just wait for it she's using my hotspot and she's able to catch the Danos without any issues. Zuelos are also spawning because there are like a lot of Pokestops here. Niantic has planted down seven extra Pokestops over here. Unfortunately, I can't catch a single thing at all. Oh no. So try I'm gonna wait. Yeah, so I'm gonna wait till I'm able to log in before I bring my screen up again. While we, I guess, queue for stuff. Yeah, Niantic is giving out a postcards over there mm -hmm. at the tent over there. So we probably go and uh, queue for it. Let's go, okay. babe. Let's start queuing Let's go. at the back. Oh my god guys, <laughs> after trying for 10 minutes, finally I'm logged in. She also has some yeah. uh, issues logging mm -hmm. in. So anyway, yep, they know Calm Day has started. Um, yep, prof I don't know what? Where's Professor Willow? <laughs> Why is Rice still here? Maybe he's on a vacation. Definitely just like <laughs> us. Alright, so Professor Willow, hopefully you're enjoying your um, holiday. Anyway, there's still the TCG crossover uh, challenge to go ahead and complete it. I'm not going to claim the rewards today with you guys, but over here under the special research, we've got to do three nice throws in a row. Earn three hearts with your buddy and also I guess catch maybe 10 or 15 day knows I, I mm -hmm. do not know man how come it's completed really maybe the gold plus or maybe this is some a different task so we got day knows over there in the wow and whatsoever I'm going to do all those with you guys but before we do anything else though I'd like to do an evolution one evolution one day no evolution oh no 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 I shouldn't do it now because later got a task to evolve the day knows I'll start catching first later then we'll do all those so Zoelos is also spawning in the wow because uh, there are a lot of people over here mm -hmm. you know um, catching the Pokemon also we get candy extra extra candy extra from catching a Zoel loss very nice but unfortunately the catch rate is also poorer and also my throw is all poor also yep forgot to show you guys the start of the numbers though in terms of catches and also of candy XL because I like to get a lot of candy XL for this particular Pokemon as the community day move brutal swing for Hydreigon is actually really really good all right so we check out the count for Dano all right my scene is at 641 caught 597 I hatched a lot of Danos actually all right whereas the candy XL is 589 roughly 580 all right, so we will do all that, and I will post, have to put star piece down. See, I haven't even put star piece down at all yet. <laughs> My God, the game crashed and everything at the wrong time for me. All right, so anyway, back to uh, what I want to say about Hydreigon. Brutal swing is really, really good. Not just for PvP in the Master League. In the Master League, it's ranked 22, but in raids wise, it's actually really, really good. It's probably the second best Duck type Pokemon right now. But when Shadow are all released, the Shadow Hydreigon will actually be the number one Duck type Pokemon. So please go after it and please catch as many as you can and also if you can't evolve it now wait for the December community day to evolve but I would recommend waiting for the shadow to save the XL candy for that purpose. Alright Bay, are you ready? Ready! I'm not ready because I'm still putting my star piece. I'm okay. the slow one over here today mm -hmm. man. Alright let me put down all my star pieces then we will start hand catching and completing all the tasks. Mm -hmm. Let's go! Let's go! Well guys, it's going to be quite hard for me to grind really hard during this event because a lot of people want to take photo with me, but it's totally fine. There's one photo that we, we do not want to take right now, which is this shiny Dano. Wow. My first shiny Dano from this event though. So Dano actually is a pretty rare Pokemon, very rare in fact. So hence getting a shiny right now in the community day. Awesome! That's yeah. good. A lot of people are happy with that. However, there are also people who are unhappy with it, which uh, are the people who probably raided hard for the commi no, Go Fest last year for shiny Dano. So lesson learned again, round two, remember Gibo Community Day, where two years ago there was Gibo in raids for Go Fest, and then people raided hard for Shiny, then eventually a Com Day came. So now same thing again. So this year, Go Fest, what was the exclusive tier one raid boss, babe? Um, the one that you got a Shiny? Yeah, 
it's Axu. Yeah, so <laughs> next year, probably there's an Axu community day. If not, Gumi, because Gumi is the next pseudo legendary Pokemon. We know, all know that every year there'll be a pseudo legendary community day, anyways. Thank you for the middle finger, IVs, uh, Niantic. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, I'm gonna continue hand catching. Uh, we're gonna go complete that task also. Earn heart with the body. I do not bother about the pseudo Udo, so goodbye. <laughs> Alright, battle with the body. Uh, hang on, let me interact with it. A lot of things to do, man. A lot of things to do. Okay, guys, we are done earning the three hearts with the buddy. Alright, just did the battles with that. See, Zoellos are spawning the wow also. Let's go ahead to claim that. And we're going to go ahead to claim this. So, we are here under the shelter, I suppose. So, there are yeah. quite, quite a few people sitting down here. So, because there are four Pokestops over here. Okay, uh, what? I didn't want to tap cancel. I wanted to tap claim. Alright, let's go ahead to see that. We've got to transfer three Pokemon. Uh, send three gifts and add a sticker to each. And use three Pineup Berries to help catch Pokemon. The usual same... Uh, um, special researchers, man, but uh, not the shiny they know. Uh, I can't remember what's the CP for the Hundo though, but it's totally fine. So let's go ahead to check this out. Let me go ahead to catch all those uh, Pokemon first and complete those tasks and I'll update you guys again soon. Okay, guys, we are done with the task. Anyway, hang on, not yet. We need to transfer three Pokemon, which mm -hmm. I do so using my search string. By the way, I forgot to add one more thing. You guys can also... Oh no, I did not actually went to go and set that. Um, another thing is you guys can actually uh, Mega Evolve a Dark or Dragon Typing Pokemon to get extra Candy XL. Mm -hmm. We have actually evolved our Mega Latios because it is a Dragon and Psychic type Pokemon. So you can actually Mega Evolve like uh, Mega Gyarados, uh, Mega Altaria, Mega Charizard X and so on and so forth to get extra Candy XL for yourselves. Another thing though, I forgot to mention at the very start of the video, I'd like to thank my friend Fun with Dart all right, for sending me the Community Day Special Research Ticket. Yep, so um, thank you very much. Actually, last month's Community Day for the Community Day for Geodude, actually my friend also sent me a ticket. However, I did not receive that message who sent it to me, so I do not know, but thank you very much to my friends for sending me that. Anyway, she also received a ticket from our yeah. friend all the way from Panama, Hello. Andreas. Thank you very much, bro, thank for you. the ticket also. Alright, so anyway, back to the task. Let's go ahead to claim all those rewards and let's go ahead to claim this. Right now, we're going to get one Lyra module, which is useful also since we can actually put that down to get extra spawns. But let's see what this is. This is going to be a Dano. Okay, where is the lost though? Would yeah. be nice to get the Zoellos as the reward. Okay, we're going to make three nice curved throws. Okay, because I completed one part of that task. And power up Dragon-type Pokemon three times, evolve three Dano. Huh, the problem is, I do not have any dragon, or should I say, I, I mean any uh, Danos to power up already because I powered mine up to level 50. Um, I can't power this one up anymore because it's already ultra league standard. So let me go ahead to uh, figure that out and uh, see what I can power up, okay? Hang on! Okay. Yes guys, clearly it's a very very hot day. <gasps> very hot. <laughs> but I don't care. I'm just yep. like Dano. Mm -hmm. I resist the heat. Wow. Okay. However, I'm scared of ice. So let's not go somewhere icy bay, all right? <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> we are busy like taking photos with yeah, uh, the trainers over here. The yeah, and uh, we're not catching a lot. You guys can see, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not like hand catching a lot, so I'm just not too bothered about it. But at the same time, I'm also really bothered because I want the candy XL for this particular Pokemon, like I said. <laughs> so I'll go crazy later on. I don't really need that much to be honest because I probably are hatching a lot of Danos in the future. So, so we're gonna evolve two more Danos. Which I'd like to do it to one shiny Dino with you guys. I mean, you guys have probably seen a shiny Zoellos before because uh, it's not a new, new, new shiny, just like shiny Stafu. <clears throat> but still, it's cool to see the green. Actually, she and I, we like green colour. Oh, but yeah, not yeah, this yeah. kind of green. This is kind of like the Dragonite <laughs> dark green kind, mm -hmm. which kind of resembles some things. <laughs> Doesn't look that nice. But anyway, we got one Dino that I've gotten a Hundo of. This is the one and only Hundo Dino that I have. I actually got it from a red. Um, I think this was, I uh, can't remember when man, but not go fast, right? So I'm going to evolve this into a well loss because I would like to evolve it into Hydreigon with Brutal Swing because it will be really, really useful in the Master League. However, like I said, it's still rank 22. It's still behind Evalto and I believe also behind Darkrai. Mm. But it's still pretty good, especially with the move that it has. It has Flash Cannon also, which is quite interesting, a steel type charge move. So we're going to evolve that later on, but uh, we're going to claim all these rewards over here. And we can claim this also. Let's see what we get. Is it a Zoellos? Should be a Zoellos. Come on. What? Another Dino? Why so weird? Another Dino. Okay, this is no no. They no no. Alright, uh, let's uh, catch the Dino. Hopefully we caught that. And let's see, we got Rai coming back again. We can't stand at the shit under sh in the sun for too long. <laughs> oh we are done with that. Let's go ahead and claim those rewards. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um we are gonna go ahead to do that. And let's see what's the last encounter. It is a Hydreigon. Hydreigon. So Hydreigon gets us three Candy XL 
Uh, no, sorry, sorry, not three. Two guaranteed Candy XL, sorry, it's because it's a third stage evolution Pokemon. It's not a legendary Pokemon. So I made a mistake on that, but it's totally fine. She's really busy catching all whatever things, and I told her to catch more than me actually right now because uh, she needs the Candy XL for this particular Pokemon, especially when we want to save for the Shadow Hydreigon in the future. Stay yeah. in the ball, you non <laughs> naughty hy 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 Hydra! Hang on, give me a sec. Awesome guys, we caught the Hydreigon and we have made our way back to the booth, Niantic booth over here. Yeah, everybody has already uh, cleared because they are busy uh, catching Pokemon. We're going to take our get our stuff right now, the postcards and whatever things. Uh, hopefully we can still get some, maybe it ran out already, I'm not too sure. And from what I understood from the stuff over here, they actually have pins and other stuff, really awesome. Let's start getting the stuff and then I'll uh, update you guys later on in terms of uh, what I've gotten. Candy XL now is at 615, just casually uh, hand catching. It's already, hard. it's already 30 minutes into the calm day already. As for the day nose caught, it did not go up a lot. <laughs> yep, let's go ahead to do our stuff before we continue grinding like a madman. Oh, well, 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 guys. It's clearly really, really hot. We are under the shade. Very we have hot. also decided to strip ourselves. <laughs> I mean, strip the mask off from our faces, alright? Don't think otherwise. To cool ourselves down a bit. Yeah. And it's currently 12pm already, so I'm gonna update you guys in terms of what I've gotten. Let's go ahead and type shiny. I've gotten a total of uh, 7 shiny Danos so far. In terms of Hundos... Oh wow, I got a Hundo! Bronzor hatched. <laughs> Dano Com Day. Okay, cool. I mean, this is my second Hundo uh, Bronzor already, I believe so. So, um, I guess it's a nice Com Day uh, surprise. Okay, other than that, let's go ahead and check out the Candy XL. Right now it's at 757. It went up by around 170 or 180 already. Um, just focusing on Zoelos actually. Whereas for the Dano Cod, it went up by close to 100. Zoelos went up by quite a bit. That's the one, like I say, I'm targeting. So anyway, it's really, really hot. And uh, we're going to be here until probably 2 o'clock because we want to wait till the... Um, I guess the crowd leaves so that we can get extra postcards and even souvenirs and pins and whatsoever from the booth over there at the um, I guess the booth yeah <laughs> so that um, we can actually uh, give some to our friends also because not everywhere has the in-person meetup at the same time we probably go into the cafe over there on our right to actually uh, get some drinks or whatsoever because it's so hot anyway I've also decided to turn on my ball blast to just let the ball blast do the job as uh, I believe I should be able to get enough Candy XL to power up the Shadow uh, Hydreigons in the future. Despite the fact there's no Mega for this at all, but I will really uh, try and get the Candy XL for this particular Pokemon to prepare for the Shadow Hydreigon in the future. Let me find the rockets though. <laughs> That's fun also guys. <sighs> time check guys, what time is this? It day? is 1.10pm. Yes, it mm -hmm. is 1.10pm. I just got a best friend interaction with my friend. Thank you very much for Be opening nice. my gift. I took a screenshot of that. And you guys know what? Um, you guys obviously know that I'm done with the special research, but we're going to go ahead to check out how many shinies I've gotten. Mm -hmm. So, I actually did a special trade with someone over here, and he actually got a lucky from me. I said, okay, yeah. thanks, bye, bro. <laughs> 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 Alright, the number 14 actually reminds me of Auntie Gladys. Pepper, pepper Brownie 14, but it turned lucky, and he got actually a 96% Dano. This Dano is not really good. So, but I'm going to keep it for now. It turned lucky. We did only one trade. So... Yeah. The thing was, I traded to him a old shiny Dano that I got from a raid last time. So um, this Dano's over here, I think now it's like a total of uh, 12. Uh, minusing that one, he got 11 so far. And I got a shiny Shadow Cubone just battling one cliff over here. So the cliff was just situated on the Pokestop over here. So let's go ahead to check out Hundos if we got any Hundos. And the answer is no. Let's go ahead to check out Dano uh, Candy XL. Right now it's at 907, Seven. just casually doing it. Okay. Whereas uh, Pokedex entry, you guys can see um, it's at 755 caught. Alright, slowly going up, but we're just uh, chilling. At the same time, we were at the cafe just now, just go blasting. So one last thing I'd like to do though, before I forget, is to actually evolve the Hundo Zoelos. Alright, this Hundo Zoelos to actually get Brutal Swing. And I did mention, alright, that the Brutal Swing for Master League is really, really good for Hydreigon. It's rank 22, as what I've repeated again. And also at the same time, for rates wise, it's also really, really good. It's currently the second best, or if not the best, in certain situations if it resists the moves from the raid boss as a dark type Pokemon. Of course, it's still going to lose to the other Megas like Mega Houndoom, Mega Epsol, and so on and so forth. But yes, it has Brutal Swing right now. So Bite and Brutal Swing, that's what you want to use. And of course, Flash Cannon also for PvP. But PvP wise, for the fast move, you really want to use Dragon Breath instead. 
All right, so that's the handle that I've evolved. We are still not done yet because there's still a second part to the community day where we have to wait for rates. And I've actually asked my friend Chris back home in Singapore because it's currently one hour ahead of us here in Bangkok. So their, their calm day for the three hours has already ended and their rates have started. So out of the 40 gyms that he can see, he can see eight of the eggs for the Zoe loss. So that's not a lot, that's one in five. So for us, we probably will see maybe just two or three, might even be four, but we're going to walk to another shopping mall later or Siam Paragon, Paragon at 2 o'clock after we are done over here, after we have gotten more postcards from Niantic. Yay! Yes, let's okay, go. Let's, let's go, go to the shade, it's very hot. Help. Okay, guys, <laughs> we are done. Done with our grind at the park and I'm here with Nine Hi. and also TK. Hello. Yeah, so anyway, we are actually out of the park already because there's a reason for that. What is it, Bay? We're gonna try and raid, guys. Yeah, what are we gonna raid? A tier 4 Zoelos. Alright, but let me Most go ahead and bring my screen up room. first and I'll show you guys what I've gotten. Let's go ahead and type shiny. As uh, clearly, I just let the Gold Plus do the work. For the last one hour, I actually was just talking to the community over here, trying to understand the situation a bit. And you guys can see I have a total of, uh, yeah, that number of uh, day nose. Alright, so um, other than that though, let's go ahead to see if we got ourselves any hundo. The answer is no. How about day no wise? Let's go ahead to see the candy XL 978. So I actually still have a couple of Zoelos also because Zoelos guarantees one candy XL. And especially right now when we trade during the season of gold, it's guaranteed one candy XL per trade, which is awesome. So anyway, we are over here and egg hatching in five seconds. And if you guys step on the egg, it's actually a very different color egg. It's a blue and white egg. It's a tier 4 egg. That is actually for Zoelos. Zoelos is the community day Pokemon. So hence this new raid feature, this group raid feature is really awesome because we can only do this with our free pass. So we can enter the lobby now, guys. All right, by using our free pass, what we understand is after taking down the raid boss, for um, a few minutes, I'm not too sure how long, there will be Dano spawning in the wild around the gym. 300 meters radius it's around the gym. <laughs> so, which is nice. So, there's 20 people in the lobby already. Uh, what are we going to use against the Zoelos? Zoelos, obviously, is going to be taken down with fairy type moves because it's double week to fairy. Alright, so uh, still technically this is the part two for uh, the Gold Fest. Not Gold Fest, but Community Day. So, how was the Community Day so far, Bay? It was fun, really we good to meet here. people, yeah. to walk with people and I play favorite. Pokemon Go with people, right? Yeah. But it was really hot, really um, hot. <laughs> hot sweaty. <laughs> so we had to even hydrate ourselves, Pokari. Not sponsored by Pokari, but we drink a lot of this, okay? Yeah. Alright, to hydrate ourselves, really good. Mm. And uh, even uh, other isotonic drinks also. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was really good for me to actually be able to talk to the community over here and um, understand a bit about the situation and whatnot. And uh, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Niantic staff and Niantic representative for coming out to actually organize this. Uh, hopefully it will improve again in the future as uh, there's still a lot of room for improvement. And uh, especially for a raid like this also, yes, we cannot use remote raid, which is awesome because we get to meet uh, players over here. But at the same time, what we felt was that hmm, the community meetup was held at the park, right? Seven of the Pokestops were, were added there, right? Why not turn some of the Pokestops, or in fact, those seven Pokestops into gyms? That's something that they can consider and not like for people to come out and like look for rates because what we understand is roughly one in five chance um, to actually, sorry, not one in five, one in eight chance means one out of eight gyms will be the Zoelos rates, which is pretty low if you ask me. Anyway, let's just go ahead to uh, take down this Zoelos and see what happens after that. All right, guys, the Zoelos is down. We took it down in roughly 35 seconds and uh, it's nice, especially since uh, I guess it's the first time I'm reading Zoelos. So it's going to add to my Riding Star Medal. We got interaction with Nine. <laughs> Thank you very much, bro. Yeah, yeah. And uh, let's go ahead to see if we got ourselves a Shiny. And of course, the answer is not going to be yes, because it's impossible to get Shiny from the raid. <laughs> so, okay, we're just going to catch this one, get uh, extra Candy XL, I suppose so. Uh, for her, she can't connect because uh, uh, I walked away just now and the hotspot disconnected. So I'm sorry, later we will uh, connect again. Oh, okay, babe, you can connect to my hotspot again. Hang on. Alright guys, she's connected already. Let's uh, go ahead to reconnect. I'm so sorry. Maybe you can solo the Zoe loss by yourself. <laughs> yeah, I think it's possible. It's, you can do it. No, I'm just kidding. It's not possible to solo it because uh, we, we took like 35 seconds to take it down with 18 people. Alright, we got one can guaranteed candy XL. He's still catching a Dano though. Alright, so not good IVs. Perfect for candy XL. Alright, wow. So the Dano has spawned in the wall. Wait, wait, wait. You didn't even do the raid, right, babe? No. Uh, she just got herself a shiny Dano. 
<laughs> so the community day actually continues. Yeah, I think it extended. Wow. So it still might be one in 25 chance to actually get a shine. Oh. Oh no, it's, oh, it's the same, the same one. one. Okay, I thought she got two in a row. Like what? Yep. Yeah. Okay, What's cool. So they know they're spawning in the wild now because uh, we are within 300 meters of oh, the gym. So yep, you guys saw. <laughs> yeah. I got one. I mean, there was one more in the wild, but the gold plus got to it already. So if I check Is the journal, um, you guys can see over there it ran away. Oh, so that's it. How it works for now. Better and I uh, will check out the sighting. Yep. Um, uh, there just one. On the yeah. So there are two more raids available, but they are quite far away. So we might not head towards the direction because we want to head towards the. We want to head towards the the mall, Siam Paragon, which is over there. But uh, we have all the notification coming. We were here at the park. You see the park, there are no gyms at all. Hopefully, Niantic will add gyms in the future at the Community Day meetup spot. Maybe just five gyms or, you know, seven gyms or ten gyms or whatever. That will be awesome. Alright, so I think that is all that we have to show to you guys uh, in this video, man. Uh, Bae? Hi! <laughs> how was Dano Community Day? <sighs> it was very fun. Very tiring like also. Dino. Very hot. First at the same time, Dino. at the same time, all I gotta say is it was really nice to be able to come out to meet the local Everyone, Thai yeah. trainers here in Bangkok. I would like to say a huge thank you to everyone who came out today to the Centenarial Park to uh, play the Dano Community Day. And hopefully you guys will, you know, play the next Community Day there again or maybe somewhere different, maybe Siam Paragon because uh, that's where it seems, it, it seems to be better. But uh, unfortunately, that's where the Community Day meetup is held at. So um, for those of you who have not been to the park, go ahead to check it out. Nice place to go to, especially when Niantic adds Poké Stops there also. All right, mm -hmm. and uh, it's time to say goodbye. Bye, guys. But before that, remember to leave a like and also to subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. All right, nine. Yep, good day. Have a good day, everyone. You say you want to be a YouTuber, right? Uh, now you is your chance. <laughs> Plug your channel in. No, I don't. I don't start it yet, but someday. Yeah. Okay. Remember to subscribe to him if he does start. All right. <laughs> all right, TK. Hello. Time to say goodbye. Hi, bye. All right. Have fun, get lots of XL. Yeah, lots of XL. Alright. Uh, Push it. Become an like XL size like me or so. Alright, we'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Alright, so goodbye, goodbye, good. Bye. Bye.